Now, if you all put it in and you can see through, it's installed incorrectly. The XL Q-Vent. For those who need the extra airflow, this is the doubled up Q-Vent. Let's get into the install. When you get your Q-Vent XL, you'll receive the standard Q-Vent and the asymmetrical Q-Vent. So you'll receive a template in the box. And basically it's showing you the minimum cutout, which is the, the green dots, is within this gray area, is what should be cut. So you cut in the inside line of this gray area, the minimum cutout. And then once you've measured the bottom of the door, say 50 mil, the center of the door, you put your template on, you can double up your tape at the back, like I've done as so, which will just stick to the door, and then you can scribe that with your pencil to your preferred height. Some people would like it 50 mil, some people might want it 100, but I've gone 50 in this circumstance. I've gone center of door, 50 mil, pencil your line, multi-tool that out on both sides, and you've got your cutout done. Now, to discuss your actual extra large Q-Vent, you have two types, which is your standard Q-Vent, one on either side. So I'm gonna place it down for the moment. And here you have two black lines on each one, and you have your asymmetrical Q-Vent, which has two blocks. So basically each asymmetrical Q-Vent slides into the lines of the standard Q-Vent, as you can see. So it will look like this. Then your other side, your asymmetrical, your standard size will slide together and will be in reverse of your other Q-Vent, as so. So if you can come and have a look at this, you can see that it's basically reversed. So now, after the cutout's been done, we're gonna install the extra large Q-Vent. So now we're gonna fit one side to the door. Once again, they go like this. So you're gonna need some painter's tape. So what we're basically trying to do is hold it so we can go to the other side and screw the other side in. Okay, so once that's in position, we'll grab our other asymmetrical and standard Q-Vent, which once again goes like this. You can see the two black lines that allow for the block. Go to the other side, lining up the Q-Vent through the lines with the block, putting it in. Now, if you all put it in and you can see through, it's installed incorrectly. You need to reverse it. So it's the opposite way. But you can see now the foam, which is allowing the air to travel through an S-bend, which stops the sound from coming through. So what we'll do is first, we'll screw the top one. Line it with your holes. Use a Phillips head screwdriver, don't use a cordless because you can pop the plastic. Then, you your black markers, which line up with your blocks, like so. Then you screw up your bottom holes. So once you've done the four screws, you repeat the process on the other side. You can now remove your tapes. Painter's tape won't take the paint off. And once again, they're in reverse. They're at the top now. And there you have it, your extra large cuvette.